channel here I'm going to show you guys a little bit what I've been working on um, you know behind uh, I haven't put any work in progress because it's taking a little longer than I thought but I'm gonna show you guys uh, my new little project that I'm working on okay I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see it this is uh, my new toy it's uh, a 32 foot Carrera that uh, I got it uh, the guy had it sitting around the yard so it needs, uh, it needs some TLC, but it has a lot of potential. I mean, I already tested it out on the water. It's, it's rides pretty smooth. It has a nine and a half foot beam with a twin uh, two strokes Yamaha 250s. And it does, uh, cruises about 37 and it does about 51. That's how fast I got it to go. So I'm gonna show you guys, I mean, like I said, it needed TLC. So I'm right now in the process of doing the interior that is almost done and redesigning too. Uh, I just put in a, a brand new Fusion Radio, Bluetooth, 600 watts with a new Kicker 12, I mean, sorry, Kicker 8s, I'm sorry. And they're pretty cool, they change colors. They have like, things like 14 different colors that you change remotely. It has dual GPS. Um, Right now, it has no front seats. Then I'm working on making two front seats. There's uh, there's one box there that's gonna have a seating area, plus it works as a ladder to get up on the top of the, of the cabin there so you could throw the anchor. And yes, even the cabin needs work, has no cushion. Has a little toilet though. I need to get the, the cushions redone. I mean, actually done, not redone. I gotta get new cushions, but yes. I mean, it's my project. That's why I've been busy working on uh, here. Right now, I'm still waiting for the roof to come in. The umbrella is going to be black. Um, and all here, I'm redesigning the whole back bench of the seat because um, I do a little bit of fishing. So it's going to have two cup holders on each side uh, for her rest and the bottom of the seat is going to be retractable so when i fish i can get closer to the edge you know the boat and it'd be easier to fish and oh i have also a portable light bait well that actually goes hooked up to that hole right there and it goes from that clip to this other clip and um the pump the pump is right there too but yeah this is it this is what i've been working on that's why i've been a little bit quiet um, but yeah, here, enjoying it, uh, took it out, rides pretty good, cuts, it cuts the waves pretty nice, it's pretty stable because it has a nine and a, nine and a half foot beam, it's 32 feet haul, and then a foot and a half of platform in the back. The motors are two stroke, but they run pretty good. I mean, I'm, I was surprised, I never had Yamahas before. And it actually runs pretty good to be two stroke. They they don't burn that much fuel and they don't they don't smoke that much. So I'm I'm gonna use them for a little while, but eventually I'm gonna get four strokes. Cause you know it's just quieter and, and, and you know more torque. And but yep, here it is. So I'm gonna flip the camera around now so you guys can see me. So yes guys, so if you haven't seen me for a while, yes, I'm working on here and yes. When I finish it all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a water test and record it and give you guys all the rundown and, you know, and I guess when I go to the sandbar too, that's the best part. Hey guys, yes, uh, I'm going to give you guys an update on my project here. Uh, like I told you, I'm working on the boat. So right now I'm going to show you guys um, what the uh, graphics that I'm actually taking off the boat and... Um, and all of what I'm doing to the boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip the camera around, okay? This is uh, one side, I'm gonna show you. This is all the graphics, how the boat came. It has clear coat on the graphics. So, I mean, it's, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it has a few scratches and, and nicks on the, on the 
paint itself and then I guess the previous owner used to overfill the gas tank and then you can see it there is all yellowing all the way down uh, so I, I kind of don't like that so I'm going ahead and uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing now on the other side okay here we go I already sanded uh, this side so all the way down to the gel coat pure white taking the graphics off it's pretty hard but I mean it's coming off it's it's I'm almost done right now and um, yeah we're gonna paint the boat since I'm doing the interior black and gray we're gonna paint the side of the boat uh, black but the top is gonna stay white and the bottom is gonna stay white because actually the bottom it's pretty cool it's really I mean pretty nice is little scratches but you can't see them that much so I'm gonna keep you guys updated and uh, let me keep working Okay guys, right now I'm going to show you guys sanding, it's, it's pretty hard, but I mean it's worth it once everything is done because if I just primer this, it might not stick good enough and then it might show up in the paint, so I'm going to go ahead and take it all out. updated and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep standing and I give you guys uh, more video of the process so uh, hard work I hope it's gonna look really good so um, here we go let me keep working I just finished um, painting the boat I'm gonna show you guys how it came out I took all the graphics off and uh, I did it all black uh, well actually black on the sides and white and white in the bottom and top um, I didn't want to go all black because then it's I don't know, I guess it looks too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, the final product. I mean, I'm going ahead and uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Okay, like you see, uh, we did the size black and the bottom and top was white. Uh, the, the, I mean, the paint came out super shiny. Um, I guess, I don't know, let me see if you can see the reflection of the phone itself. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I mean, the boat is dusty. Well, actually, yeah. You can see the reflection. You actually see the, the window of my house. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, all the stuff we did. We left the top deck um, black. We did the platform black um, and the back transom black. Uh, I have to go ahead and, and, and finish uh, putting the non-skid because it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's very slippery right here. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of dangerous slippery. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go inside the boat and show you guys what how the interior came out. Okay, there is... Um, well, the boat right now is full of leaves from the tree. I have here a lot of trees. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys the interior or less. There's a lot of glare here, so I can't see what I'm showing you guys. But um, the side pads. And this is... Um, this is what I'm going to show you guys that actually a custom design because the back was not like that. The back just looked like a regular leaning cushion like this one. So I went and go ahead and uh, I told the interior guy I wanted it up. I drew it on a piece of paper, uh, gave me the measurements, and he went and did it for me. So it came out very good. I'm happy with it. I even got a cup holder. Uh, I'm going to show you guys... Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera and show you guys how it works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I went and I, I designed here. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Right now the seat is down. I'm going to show you guys what I custom designed. You actually pull it up. Pull the seat up. Put the legs down. So you can actually sit down on the seat. So when I take a um, few people, you know, I mean it fits, I guess about four people. Or five kids so 
I mean, it's very comfortable. You know, I mean, there was the, the headrest wasn't here. It was just a big round cushion. So I did a individual, you know, individual cushion, um, uh, headrest with the name in it. And then that's what I, when I go, you know, cruising around. Now, when I want to go fishing, I go ahead, you know, I go ahead and take the legs out. I lift the seat a little bit. And it's kind of hard. And then the seat goes down. Now, once the seat goes down, I can go ahead and lean over, you know, lean over with the rod and go ahead and fish. So it's pretty, um, to me, it's pretty useful. I'm not a real fisherman. Uh, I mean, I do fishing, but not hardcore. So I kind of enjoy it. Oh, and here, I don't know if you can see it. There's two brackets here that a life wet well goes here. And then I actually can remove the seats with these pins here. You take the actual whole seat out. So I could place my life wet well here and go ahead and fish. So, I mean, that's maybe once or twice a month. And every other day I go ahead and enjoy a sandbar, you know, cruise around, check out the islands. Cause here in Florida, you know, we might, we, we boat almost year round. Cause when the water is cold, mostly everybody does is there's, um, you know, we go to the islands, we go to the tiki bars, we go to the restaurants in the water. So we get to enjoy boating all year round. And you can just bring a, like a little windbreaker or a light jacket, you know, because it, it does get kind of cool at night, but during the day, it's fine. Just the water, I mean, I don't like cold water. So, but other than that, I mean, the boat came out great. I left the top, oh, I repainted the floor. I mean, right now it's really dirty because I have a lot of trees and there's a lot of leaves. So, uh, I repainted the floor, came out great. Uh, I mean, the boat looks pretty good. Oh, my final step is actually buffing out the, the top deck that I have to do, but everything, the stereo system is on. Um, basically, I'm really done. All I have to do is, is go ahead and um, and buff the main white parts so it gets that shine back. Because the Joko, it's shiny, but not shiny enough because it's painted the floor and the side, so it, it's not as shiny as the new uh, new parts, a uh, new sides. So, hope you guys enjoy. Um, I, I like showing videos of what I do. So, um, oh, my next project is inside the cabin because the camera right now has just rug. So I'm gonna rip all the rug out, put cushions. It's a little toilet in there um, that we can use. And um, I mean, so far I'm happy. I mean, it came out great. Uh, once I go, I mean, I rolled the boat a few times already, but I keep forgetting the camera. But next time I go, I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera and give you guys more or less um, a ride in the feel of the boat because this boat is it's a the hull itself is 32 feet long it has a two foot platform and then it has a nine six beam so it's pretty wide it's pretty stable we actually fished and five of us leaned over to one side and the boat did not tilt as much as my other boats so i'm really happy with it oh and also we went um we went out uh like three weekends ago um that i caught a very big kingfish uh 41 inches it was big it gave me like 34 um fillet so i mean i shared it with my cousins and family and mom and um but like i was saying we went out and the seas were like five to six and i was a little worried because i have came with the kids but it actually it rode good once we were anchored it, it, it broke the wave good. I mean, it was pretty stable. I was like, wow, I was amazed. So now I don't have to worry when the weather is uh, five to six because I, you know, I still go out, you know, with the boat. And it was pretty stable. I was, I was, I was amazed how stable it was in such a rough uh, seas. Uh, but I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Like I said, next time I go on it, I'm gonna take my other camera. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a feel of the boat. Uh, so far, cruise is 37, 38, and I got it to top out at uh, 51 miles an hour. I mean, it's not, this is, I think, the slowest boat I ever had. But, I mean, I guess as older you get, you kind of look for comfort, not speed. Before, I didn't care. I just wanted to go fast. So, right now, I'm just looking for comfort, and this boat is kind of giving me uh, the comfort I'm looking for.
So, all right, guys. Um, nice to see you guys back, and I'll keep you posted. Like I said, next time I go out, I'm going to take the camera and show you guys the video. Keep in touch.